Okay, if anyone knows how to disable that sound, please tell me. But, uh, okay. And share sounds. All right, what is up, guys? This is We Love Gaming, and today we are reacting to... Let me hide the video. Hide the floating meaning trolls. Unstoppable moron makes nuclear wasteland noticeably worse. Fallout New Vegas by Russia Badger. I have played Fallout New Vegas. I have not beaten it. I have only gotten to the Brotherhood of Steel, and I've gotten the bomb collar removed from my neck. And I'm going to be honest, I don't like Brotherhood of Steel. All right, let's just go. I don't know how loud I should put it, though. So I'm going to try it. I got a gal, she looked just fine. Always bring me whiskey and wine. Every single morning and dinner and night. Everything she do, she do just right. But when I say what you want me to do, she say it's just one thing that I want from you. A little bit of rock, a little bit of roll, a little bit of rock, a little bit of roll. All right, uh... I don't remember how to, I don't, one second, I don't remember, no, cancel that, how do I get the controls up, one second, I'm going to stop recording, hopefully, if I'm able to, because that would be nice. Oh, I'm an idiot. Let's escape. Okay. I'm going to stop recording for right now. Okay, yeah. Okay, if you're able to hear that, can someone tell me how to get it to shut up and stop saying this meeting is being recorded? All right, so it's Control-Shift-H. Okay, I'm an idiot. All right. A little bit of rock, a little bit of roll, a little bit of rock and roll. Control in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Spoiler warning, New Vegas has an incredible story and it's a shame to ruin it with spoilers, so consider this a fair warning. Welcome to New Vegas, a wonderful NCR. place that makes you- Fuck the NCR! <laughs> <clears throat> okay, to be honest, the NCR is alright. So far, I haven't had that much of a problem with them. I mean, there was, um... The Helios 1 shuttle, not shuttle, uh, satellite array area. That had I, the weapon. I don't remember. I never used it. The um, another of them just being jerks. Like I don't have a problem with them right now. Welcome to New Vegas, a wonderful place that makes you say, "That's Vegas, baby." Have you ever seen a man use nuclear weapons in close quarters combat? That was a freaking. That was multiple launches. Okay. Uh, I should probably put subtitles on. Yeah. But, uh... Have you ever seen a man use nuclear weapons in close quarters combat? God. Right. Use nuclear weapons in close quarters combat? Yeah. That, that's like a bunch of them. Just launched. What the heck? That's Vegas, baby. You ever murdered somebody that. just so you could take a one-hour nap in their filthy cock? <laughs> That's Vegas, baby. You ever seen someone covered in pitch, set on fire, and tossed into the Grand Canyon? I'm sorry, what? Only to somehow crawl out and survive? Uh, we can't ex What? Expect God to do all the work. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> That's Vegas, baby. But enough <laughs> of the empty chatter. How about we start getting somewhere? The time for talk has passed. Lord, I gotta remember that name. Fall in New Vegas is the story of a courier delivering a mysterious package to the New Vegas Strip that's robbed by a charismatic gangster and left to die in the Mojave Wasteland. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. I got to kill this guy with his own gun. Forget the fact that I had to, uh, you know, uh, add item, add 9mm ammo to my inventory. Because my, I guess my, yeah, my sneak was like, tw n like somewhere around 20. 
<sighs> and that wasn't helpful. Only had a silenced uh, twenty point twenty two, I think. L twenty two. The twenty two silenced pistol, basically. That's all I had. And maybe if no, no, that was before when I was an idiot and just grabbed weapons. I built a case against him, and then I was able to have everything. It took me a long time to get that gun out of his hand and then use it. The first time I got it out of his hand, I wasn't quick enough, and he grabbed it. Second, and then I just continuously died until I got it. And then I actually shot him and with it and killed him. I didn't get the achievement. And I don't like that. I didn't get the achievement. The achievement talk about owned. I didn't get it. I was mad. But hey, I didn't have any 9mm ammo on me. Fortunately, a man by the name of Doc Mitchell digs the lead out of your brain, picks up the pieces, and puts you back together like Humpty Dumpty, introducing you to character creation. I, I hate hope you don't creation. mind, but I it's had to go terrible. rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. Special stats come first in the form of strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck, each making you good or bad at certain things on a scale from 1 to 10. You got 10 agility? That makes you the deadliest gunslinger. That so, mine is not great i don't remember what it is and i'm not going to because i got used the the trait i believe it's called the trait i got used it twice that allows me to add a skill point but basically strength because of my knowledge from fallout 4 because that was the first fallout game i ever played and uh for some reason i just grabbed too much shit i just grabbed too much stuff so i have to put a lot of it into strength and then i put in Perception. I, I think I put perception. I don't really remember. But at this point, if if what he does sounds good, if you guys want to see me like restart it all, because I'm perfectly really fine with that. Uh, I'll restart it all and I'll use his things if it's if it's good. I'll be honest, because I'm more of a sneak right now. Carry as much stuff as I can, and then I want to know where everyone is. The hell this side of the Mississippi. You got one charisma? Well, negotiating with you has got to be the most... I'm pretty sure I put high charisma. Awkward and infuriating interaction two human beings can have. Just give me some goddamn medics and fuck off, will you? Because I'm a bumbling moron and play video games like a fucking ape, I said to hell with the balance allocation they suggest and went straight up Lord Death of Murder Mountain. 10 strength, 7 endurance, 10 agility, oh. and 10 lo Oh, God. I know I don't I don't think I want to use that. Perception, charisma, intelligence, strength. Okay, the agility is good. I I would like to use the agility. The strength I would like. I may go down one or two, maybe to seven at most. Charisma and intelligence definitely have to go up. Endurance is alright. Luck, I don't understand too much the use of it. So if someone could explain that, that'd be great. But other than that, it seems somewhat okay. But granted, that is a good heavy hitter. Honestly, heavy hitter for strength. Strength is carrying a bunch of everything and able to, hopefully I would think, repair. No, intelligence, that's what repair is connected to, isn't it? So you're not going to be the best at repairing. But uh, yeah, so strength items you can carry. Endurance. Amounts of shots, I believe you could take and damage. Uh, agility, your aim and luck. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what luck does. Luck. God, what the fuck is this big? All right, let's state the obvious. There's something wrong with me. I am Hercules's bigger cousin, strong, with tough as nails endurance, walks on water agility, and two headed coin flip lucky. If I so much as breathe on an organism in the Mojave, you better believe it'll end in a critical hit with enough force to overthrow a small government. Like the sight of your own blood? I don't know. Do you? I don't know. Do you? <laughs> However, it also means that I have the perception of a deaf bat, the charisma of a misanthrope, and intelligence so low that calling me dumber than a fucking brick is perfectly accurate. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? These base stats are complemented by skills, which are heavily influenced by where you put your special- Okay, I just wanted to check to make sure it was still recording, because 
Otherwise, I'd be very... Special points, like remember my tan agility? That my skill? Uh, okay, which are heavily yeah. influenced by where you prepare. Oh, yeah, no. So I'm guessing that intelligence is with science luck. I mean, not science. First, luck. Repair and science. That's intelligence. Sneak, I'm guessing, is agility. And speech is also probably is charisma. Put your special points, like remember my 10 agility? That means jacked guns and jacked sneak. Remember my one charisma that makes my speech and barter barely resemble that of a sentient human being? I'm so terrifying, yet so lacking in social skills. Even the most basic conversation probably feels like a hostage negotiation. Well, good luck with that. Okay, Again. so now I know what I have to put into. I have to put it into intelligence and charisma to, in order to get... Lord Death of Murder Trust Mountain, it. which means specking guns, sneak, and explosives so I can exterminate any life form I come into contact with from the tiniest praying mantis to the saltiest powder gang. Take this, you stupid fucking bug. <laughs> powder gangers rule! <laughs> Special points and skill points are rounded out by traits, which I just adore. Because on one hand, you can pick something- Okay, so not traits, skills is what I was Pragmatic, like built to destroy, which gives you a higher critical hitch. The trait, though, that I used to upgrade my- Dance, but your weapons wear out faster. Uh, skip bang, my actual- Bang, bang. bang. Things. His arms fell off, but on the other, Ow. you can pick some shit like my favorite, Wild Wasteland, which enables bizarre events to occur, like taking some no, dicey I mean, drugs and fighting a fucking Yaogwai that's on fire. Have at it, you stupid son of a bitch. Take drugs, kill a bear. Uh, what? What? There's an actual flaming Yaogwai? What the fuck? Am I even hitting the right one? Yeah, that was the right one. <laughs> Once you're done choosing who you want to be and enter the Mojave, that's is the next big one you got to learn. Because 90% of staying alive that's, in the wasteland it. is making sure everything else around you is dead. <laughs> The Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VATS, is the tightest shit ever. I fucking hey, love VATS because it allows President you to freeze Kennedy. time Dio style and choose exactly no. where you want to shoot and the problem. No. Why? Why do you gotta make that ability joke? ability of hitting your target. Watch this center mass. <laughs> it's not mandatory. You don't have to use it. You can just. Alright, there's going to be advertisement. So let me pause it right <laughs> it's not mandatory. You don't have to use it. You can just pass things away like you would in any other shooter. Don't taunt me, Gecko. Personally, I use it every chance I get. Just the combination of precise shots, the slow motion, and some of the hilarious outcomes, I just can't help myself. Oh, shit, that hurts. You can select multiple targets. You can be choosy about body parts, like hitting someone's right arm to knock a weapon out of their hand or someone's legs so they can't flee, especially if that person just won the lottery. Who won the lottery? I, I killed him right away to get that ticket. I did. I feel bad about using the 40 mil for this. That was tight as hell. It's not perfect because even if you're extremely close to a target with near perfect accuracy, sometimes you can accidentally vibe check the wrong person. Whoa, no, no, not shooting Kachino. Thank you very much. I guess we are shooting Kachino. <laughs> Oh, no. And other times, Vats is just too accurate. I never thought it was possible to be too consistent, but a snafu with dynamite proved me very wrong. Rise and shine, Captain Parker. The radiation oh, shoot. I really want to know how you can repair okay. that thing. <laughs> I Wait didn't a minute. You have to save That's okay. I stepped away. <laughs> oh. I didn't bounce. Too. Oh. oh shit, everybody's away now. I'm not gonna no. die now. <laughs> I'm so dead. Oh god. I'm not even though I may have blown my legs off with dynamite, my heart was in the right place because what I was fighting for was totally worth it. A bed. Just like vats, yep. beds are absolutely critical to your survival because the wasteland is full of scary shit that takes your health away and breaks down your limbs, especially if you use landmines as a primary weapon. Hey, wake Why? up, Frank. Wake up, Frank. <laughs> but if you sleep in a bed, even for just an hour, you regain all of your health and all of your broken limbs <laughs> are head, magically arm, fixed. Don't legs. ask me how it works. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's worth cutting someone's head off with a switchblade. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby. 
through that critical. Final word of advice here is to always check if there's an open bed before you kill anybody. Because I've slaughtered heck? entire tents of people and taken naps next to corpses only to realize there was an open bed right next to them. I just want to take a nap. Let me take a nap, you asshole. With those basics covered, it's time to make our way to new Kill people that have low health so they can't continue to try and kill you. Vegas, so we can find it's that like bastard Benny and figure out why some stupid platinum chip was worth blowing someone's head off. Now's a good time to remind you that I'm a complete fucking oaf. I'm glossing over a ton of stuff and probably leaving some important shit out. So remember that my advice is meaningless and. Wanted, insufferable moron. <laughs> dead or dead, please just kill this fucking prick. <laughs> Five five thousand caps. Mm, if it was five hundred, maybe. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of caps, though. Uh, extremely <laughs> fucking dangerous. Approach with caution. And time is a flat circle. There's more to it, but we don't have the time. By which I mean. You don't. On the road to New Vegas, I prefer to trust absolutely no one because the wasteland is never as it seems. See that nice old lady running. I hated her. I shot her. No, I didn't shoot her. Boone. Boone is his name, damn it. Boone shot her. The first time I played, I'd never, I didn't even get to New Vegas. But the first time I played and I helped Boone, I took her out. We were there and for some reason I had the cap on. He didn't shoot her. So I'm like, okay, I took everything off. All my clothes, all my apparels, took it all off. Then put the cap on by itself. Then he shoots her in the head, kills her. And then I put my clothes back on, take the hat off. I'm like, why didn't you shoot her before that? Hmm? In the, the motel with the giant dinosaur? No well, she just sold someone's wife into slavery. Wow. And their unborn child. Oh, Jeannie Mae, you negotiated the sale of a person and only got a thousand caps? Killing everyone that doesn't explicitly offer value to you is a wonderful policy. Because as far as okay. I'm... That's the gun that I was able to sneak into the casino. Sir, uh, this wasteland belongs to me and the weak should fear the strong. It's a part yes. of life out here. Best to accept it. Upside here, looting is a dream because robbing a corpse is a far smoother experience than bartering with a living being. And who knows? You might just get lucky and find a mysterious big iron that has sound effects. So I've seen Octorn's video on the mysterious stranger and he did have this. I want to be able to get that gun legitimately i don't want to kill someone just to steal their gun i mean benny benny i killed him with the gun but that's besides the point yeehaw chuckle fucks yeah downside here everyone that you haven't killed yet hates your guts oh man do people ever think you're an abomination so interacting with the various tribes of the mojave is significantly more painful the ncr has declared you a terrorist wherever the ncr has jurisdiction you will be shot on i cannot wait to play it and like fully join the legion because i like to play neutrality or play uh every i'm with everyone until like later in the game when i have to pick a side and I can't wait to get this one because I've seen the mm, felt someone else outside. I've seen the uh, the I've seen like the weapons that the NCR's highest troopers have, and I've seen the uh, anti anti material rifle. I think it's called. And I want to use it. I want to use it. I want to have all its ammo. I want to have one of the suits. Wear some power armor over that, and then just kill everyone. Sight. It's about fucking time, fellas. Yeah. I'll get to these various tribes in due time. All I'm saying is, you have choices. Rangers. Be good. That's be evil. Call, kill believe. nobody. Yeah. Kill everybody. I don't give a shit. It is, you have choices. Guys, be good. But, uh, be evil. Kill no this one. nobody. Kill everybody. I don't give a shit. Make up your own destiny. Hear that? We have options. Yes, man. My I so I've talked to each of the tribes. I haven't exterminated any of them yet. Which kind of messed up. Because I am, I talked to Yes Man immediately, like after talking to all of them, and I didn't kill any of them, which is probably messed up. And I, I effed up. Well, I talked to the boon, the boomers before that, and became friends with them. But other than that, nothing much. My destiny was to confront Benny at the Topps Casino on the New Vegas Strip and figure out why the hell that platinum chip was so goddamn important. Platinum chip, eh? Yeah, damn light. Platinum chip? Hmm? 
But just before I did, I was reminded of why my seemingly dumbass build is so damn brilliant thanks to maxing out Sneak. You see, none of these casinos on the strip want a bumbling wastelander walking into the joint with all kinds of dangerous weapons, so they make you check them at the door to avoid any violence. But if your Sneak stat is high, you can fit an arsenal in the door, no problem. I can get weapons past the guards, no problem. You might. I gotta talk to this guy. If that gives me a quest, I'll be able to use it. One fella I knew was able to slip a pistol past the guards. You? I'm guessing and you could get a machine gun by them. Hey, hey, Rich, well, welcome to the Top Set Talent Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any uh, weapons you might carry. Angry <laughs> Sure, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Okay, so they didn't find two 357s, a 44 Magnum, two 10 millimeter pistols, three 9 millimeter pistols, a combat knife, eight six of dynamite. Silence point 22. That's the only one I was able to get past the guards. That's it. My sneak skill was not that great. Frag grenade, three more six of dynamite, a mysterious magnum, a silence 22, spike knuckles. The mysterious magnum. That's the gun I want to get. Knuckles, a switchblade, and a tire iron. Sneak is broken. I'm going to repair all this, by the way. Don't have an aneurysm. This allows you to kill Benny any way you like. I was surprised he didn't perish from a heart attack the moment he laid eyes on him. He's still breathing. What in the goddamn? Blow his guards up with a frag grenade and finish him off with dynamite. Hell, you could even let him flee for the time being and kill him later over and over again when his hands are tied thanks to the joy of quick saving. Now you're talking. That is the ring-a-ding move, baby. Yeah, you better believe that Benny starts sweating when you hit the F5 key. Some of the, slaves the, the truth is, the game was right from the start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna you hit him a few more times just so he doesn't come back like I did. Did I really just march halfway across the Mojave to kill Benny with a tire iron? You're damn right. A fair kill. With a tire iron? Oh, can you actually crucify him? You sick, vindictive. I don't understand the karma. Like, I don't understand it. Why not just say, oh, this, pl the, this, this group of people hates you? Like... I don't understand the karma. Fuck! Happy now, you twisted bum! I still feel like Tire Iron is the best. It is always the best. And if you think killing Benny is the climax of your New Vegas crusade, uh. ooh baby, are you ever ring-a-ding wrong. I'm not talking about Maria, the pistol that he shot you in the face I with. I got that picture, I'm going with you. I'm not gonna say the rest because I don't want to get Get to use however you like. The truth is, Remy, the game was rigged. <laughs> Remy? Which vault is that? Oh, it's, both, uh, it's the voting vault. Okay. I'm not talking about his ace checkered suit that I primarily use. I haven't to get gotten there yet. I've only gone to uh, vault 22 and 34. Uh, I think that's it. I think 22. But I've gone to the powder gamer vault where it was two division. No, maybe four vaults because one of them is the hotel. Lucky 30, not 38. 21, I think? I don't know. Uh, the radiation. I have not gotten through that whole thing because my radiation suit just broke. And now I believe I got an advanced one, which is great. Oh, and gun runners. I had, I, I'll admit, I had, I had to cheat to get there, to get into the actual place. I had to, uh, Click use consoles to click kill two two uh, gun runners, sneak my way in. Realize no one is hostile once I'm inside. Steal the plans. And trade a bunch of garbage for to the robot, and steal stuff. Oh, I bought I took that kit gun from that kid. I bought it off of him for like ten caps. Don't know what it's going to be used for at all. But the discounts hey. and gun runners. This robot. I also have not gotten the. Uh, anti-material rifle from him yet. He's giving me a 2% discount just because I'm wearing a checkered suit? I'm talking about that mysterious platinum chip that cracks the entire story wide open, and I'm sure you're just itch- That's a V-Bucks. That's V-Bucks chip. You know why. What the fuck do you think, asshole? Apparently, the man after this platinum chip you were carrying when Benny Mr. blew House. your head off is Mr. House, the mastermind running the New Vegas Strip, and why am I still talking about him when his ego does such a better oh. job? By the time I was 30 years old, I was a billionaire 30 ego times huge. over. I founded and ran a vast economic billion. empire. Yeah. Do you really think I'm going to let an upstart yes. come into my home 
and ransom my property to me? I spent two centuries searching for the platinum chip. It's my invention, my property, mine. Now be a good courier and deliver it. And he's angry for a reason, because his position of power comes from his Securitrons. You know those big blue robot guys that can either kill you on sight or become your cowboy best friend? Had it, partner. Welcome. To I loved Victor. Victor was a good robot. What? Also, when I first played the game the first time, I accidentally shot them because I thought I was in a different town. And I thought, and I saw, uh, I had my perception and it, in the compass, it said enemies nearby. And I saw red. So I mistook, I miss, uh, I mistook him for an enemy and shot him. I died very quickly because uh, nothing worked on him. That was uh, the biggest mistake I ever made. The New Vegas. Well, that pla I also was able to go to the uh, Caesar and then upload to the robots that are in that other vault. That handmade Lucky 38 vault that he made for them. God. Item ship you're carrying contains an update to their operating system that turns them from ordinary foot soldiers capable of small arms fire into missile blasting grenade launching behemoths ready to vaporize any adversary into dust. Behold, for the first time, Securitrons running the Mark II OS. The M235 missile launcher gives the Securitrons the ability to engage ground and air targets at significantly longer range. And a rapid fire G28 grenade launcher ensures the Securitron is deadly in close range engagements. Yeah. Benny basically blew her head off because the giant Securitron army is currently running Windows XP and you were carrying a licensed version of Windows 10. And that's not even the juiciest part. Benny modified his own Securitron, appropriately named Yes Man, to help him steal the platinum chip, overthrow Mr. Yeah, House, commandeer his Securitron army, and shoot him out of the New Vegas Strip. Though I think Benny would put it differently. Baby, getting outplayed and getting cheated ain't the same thing. Yes Man is willing to tell you all of this because he is unable to say no. And I know this word doesn't mean anything anymore but he is literally a yes man but hey not my fault i can't say no i love this guy because he politely lays out your options for shaping the future of vegas and forces you to finally decide whose side you're on leading up to the final showdown for all the mojave marbles at hoover dam we shall see how brave you are when nailed to the walls of hoover dam your body facing west so you may want all right let me just get my uh let me just get uh the mysterious strength ma mysterious magnum uh, rocket launcher, my sniper rifle. Let me just pull that out right now and shoot you right here. Because then I won't have to deal with you later. Like, kill people when their guards are down or their backs are turned. I I mean, honestly, never attack one. I would never do it in reality, no matter what. But in the in Mojave Wasteland? No, wait, that's... The Mojave Wasteland is in Fallout 2. No, 3. I'm an idiot. I haven't even played the games. I just watched Oxhorn and I confused them. Great. I'm an idiot. But uh, the New Vegas in any of them. Like, eh, maybe not Fallout 4, though. Because Fallout 4 is actually legitimate. The Fallout 4 is my favorite. I'm being 100% honest. And I'll explain later, but I don't want to cut. I don't want to make this two parts. I really don't. But uh, if I keep talking like this, it actually might be. <laughs> um... So, yeah, I like honestly, you talk a bunch of stuff, smack, and sh you talk shit like that. But as soon as your back is turned, you're lowering your guard. So I'm gonna guess there's a weak point for your armor. Watch your world die. On one side, you've got the New California Republic, or NCR, representing old world values like democracy, taxes, and the rule of law. I don't like taxes. I, I thankfully I'm not 18 yet. Yet. I will be very soon. Let's see. It's, it's August, September, October, November. So like two months. After this one in October, I will be 18 and then I will have to pay taxes. Great. Uh, but this is going to be fine. Yeah, no. F fuck the NCR. I'm only helping them right now. The only reason I haven't killed them all is because I want to be neutral until I'm either told otherwise. Because I like to listen to people when they tell me to do stuff. So if you guys want me to play Fault New Vegas, 
and you tell me what side to join, I will gladly do that. I'll gladly restart. You tell me to kill NCR troopers, I'll kill every NCR trooper in sight, and so on and so forth. You tell me to join the, the kill the end the legion, kill I'll kill the legion. It'll be a pain in the ass, but still. Alright. The only the only people that I'm not on good terms with is the power gangers. Powder powder gangers. And that's because I don't understand how I would do anything. I, I made faults the one the two overseer vault red and blue. I was able to get fame from for the powder gangers, but they still hate me. I mean we have a truce right now. I don't go too close to them, they don't kill me. I've messed that up a couple times at a quick load, but hey. Oh, but I'm gonna keep it a buck. Fuck the NCR. Technical move! He's coming! The, I have never seen this before. Because I decided not to use it. Oh, God. oh my god, the NCR is unbearable. Pun intended. Because even as the good guys, they make it impossible to like them with how condescending and pedantic they are. Especially when it comes to violence. Yeah. This is NCR property, and we have guns. So you can only do as we please here. And it would please us if you got the hell off our lawn. I honestly can't wait to sell you into slavery. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> they are such chicken shit cowards. Like, they are so terrified of the Legion crushing them at Hoover Dam, half of them are contemplating suicide. The Legion breaks through our defenses. I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. If the Legion breaks through our defenses, I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. If the Legion breaks through our defenses, I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. Okay, I get it. You want to kill yourself. Shut the fuck up. They're dumber than I am. And as a reminder, I have sub-brick <laughs> intelligence. It's like who should- And above him is vegetable. Wait, wasn't it different before? Okay, we're at 1445. Like the sight of your own blood? I don't know. Perception of a deaf bat, the charisma of a misanthrope, and intelligence- Okay, no, it wasn't the difference. 1445. Should we put in charge? Damn. And as a reminder, I have sub brick intelligence. Like, who should we put in charge of a vital solar power plant? How about some bum off the street named Fantastic with no experience whatsoever? That scientist we hired has got to be the dumbest asshole I've ever come across. Well, you hired they him. asked me how well I understood theoretical physics. I so said, I'm going to eat some gum right now because. Damn it, why did I do that? <laughs> I messed up. Oh well. I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said, welcome aboard. Got the whole NCR suckling my teats. And if- Great, an ad. Alright. Uh, this one. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said, welcome aboard. Got the whole NCR suckling my teats. Mm. And it feels so good. I wanted to do that so much. I wanted to kill him so much in that moment. Like, the guy is annoying. The guy is... His pride is through the freaking roof. And his arrogance is as well. His ego, for a man that knows jack shit about everything, is huge. And honestly, the Legion just seems... Eh. Legion, on the other hand, absolutely based, and the shootouts you witness between these two. Did that blade just go through this? Stone? Rival factions tells you everything you need to know. God damn, did the Legion ever witness between these two? The Legion, on the other the hand, stone, absolutely sure. based, and the shootout. Mm. Mm. How did he actually make this animation? I want to know, because it's it's good, but. Shootouts you witness between these two rival factions tells you everything you need to know. God damn, did the Legion ever crush the NCR? They just get so. <laughs> you like that? But wait, don't they propagate slavery and crucify anyone that defies their will? Degenerates like you belong on a away. cross. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. Okay, we kill everyone. Degenerates we like kill each of them that say that to us. But other than that, we look away. You belong on a cross. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. Yes, but if there's one thing that I hate more than slavery, it's taxes. The worst kind. I'm gonna hate taxes eventually. So I can stand by the the uh, 
The Legion. ...kind of slavery. So when I say Awe, you say... True to Kaisa. As evil as they may be, at least they're not pretending like the NCR is. Talking mad shit for having no real fighting prowess, and Kaisar's right-hand man, Lanius, can tell you what happens when words aren't backed by strength. Our roads into NCR are hung with the bodies of those who attempted to negotiate with us. That's the kind of acting on Verba ethos I can get behind. Sure, the Legion might be a little uh, intense, but at deal. least they treat me like an equal and have conviction in what they're pursuing. We will take Hoover Dam and move forward until our feet crush the setting sun beneath them. The good of the NCR or the bad of the Legion aren't your only choices either, because Mr. House is always an option, a very corporate, tyrannical option to hand the keys to the Mojave, but I guess when your other choices are cowards or slavers, it's not so bad. My army will do what an army does best, defend territory from invaders, and maintain order. But if you want a wild card option, pick up where Benny left off and side with Yes Man. He'll help you take the keys in the Mojave by stealing the Securitrons for yourself. An army like that should be enough to defend Vegas from, I'm gonna say, anybody. That way, you get to murder the belittling Mr. House and conquer the wasteland with a friendly face. And before you say, You can't just kill Mr. House because a robot told you to. Observe. Oh, God. that's Mr. House? Dang. No added. Tragedy has befallen all mankind. How did I lose karma for that? He was already a vegetable. I'm just making a mashed potato. Bo. <laughs> no matter which path you take, you're forced God. to familiarize yourself with the okay, smaller yeah, tribes of the Mojave this, uh, to determine point. whether you want their help in the Battle of Hoover Dam or exterminate it for their lack of cooperation. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever. Yeah, I messed this up. Whatever you want to do. You've got the appropriately named boomers because they're terrified of anything foreign to them, labeling outsiders as savages, and you gotta make it through an artillery barrage if you even want to talk to them. They must be a really I mean, nasty that, people. I haven't try, heard a single good thing about try. them. Can I just say, this is by far the most oh, accurate no. artillery barrage that I've ever seen. Like, oh, wow. this is not the way that artillery works. Though. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? I didn't. Uh, the simple one. I the simple one. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Simple enough. Run, hide, run. It's all in the timing. I didn't run through all that artillery to hear your stupid question. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat. Yes, was young time. Pete. Burning with flamethrowers. Neat. Sure, they're intolerant, but they taught me this field trip to meet other tribes wasn't just so I could check a box of exterminate or don't exterminate, because if you help them out, they can have a big impact at Hoover Dam. So fine, boomers, I'll fix your stupid plane and I make your that. dreams come true. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. Can you dial it back on that word? Anytime he says savages, he just goes, savages! The great cons are hilarious because everybody makes i haven't met them yet i met their lower underlings it's fun of them for being filthy drug traffickers that live in tents the cons are just they're a dirty people they live in tents like animals and they're very rude and i think you can deal with them diplomatically to win their favor but uh i've never tried that option 22 percent. can i hit that oh i can hit that you know what's even better than killing drug traffickers? Killing drug traffickers on their own product. I'm so high off a of psycho right now. Diplomatic efforts are better spent on the Brotherhood of Steel, because if you run their silly errands, they can hook you up with special power armor training to wear this god-tier steel suit. Wake up to the money, turn me right on. Everybody looking for that platinum chip when I got that platinum drip. By the way, if you think that T-51 is cooler than T-45, you are I'm actually- this is T-45, and the one that they had on was T-51. Well, the T-51 is pretty nice looking, I'll be honest. It all depends on the stats for me. Psychotic. And I'm not gonna recommend that you pickpocket the heavy hitters and initiate their bunker self-destruct sequence once you've got the training in your hands, but- Yoink! Ay, yoink! I'll take- that? Are you sure you would like to initiate the self destruct? Yes. You can kill me all you want. What is that? Say? Are you sure you would like to initiate the self destruct? Yes. Most people say you're the devil himself, but they also admit you have done a bit of good. 
You can kill me all you want. I've already won. I've already won. It's already too late. I bet you regret putting that explosive collar on me now, I assholes. I had fun with them after they removed the collar. I quick saved in that room and I just killed everyone in there and I wanted to see how far I could make it. Didn't make it very far. Good, that's one less loose end. Consider them forgotten. Along with the projections that predict they'll be our- Yeah, I've already done that and I didn't kill them, so I messed it up. Biggest enemy. Forgotten. Not all the tribes are out in Bumblefuck either. You've also got to make contact with some of the families running other prominent casinos on the Strip. So even if you already know you want them exterminated, you at least have to look them in the face before you kill them, Benny style. Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. The Omertas that run a giant whorehouse called Gamora deserve to be wiped off the face of the earth. Not just because they kill hookers, not because they're oh, okay. stockpiling arms, but because they're complete pieces of shit and it takes like three pickpockets to dismantle their whole operation. What the fuck are you looking at? Really? The fuck are you? I mean, I talked to, I talked to the tribes, to the uh, three families, but I didn't understand whether or not I really needed to kill them. So I just told yes, man, and we can leave them alone. Like, be, I need you guys to give me information on these guys. Tell me what to do. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I mean, I screamed like a little freaking girl in my Minecraft video. And then... Oh, wait. I haven't posted that one yet. Well, not yet. It's, it, it should be out like on the 4th or the 5th of August. And this one should be a few days after that. Well, yeah, I scream like a little bitch. And then I get pissed. And then I find a village just to the left of me instead of the right like I went. And I lost all my stuff. God damn it. Looking at. What the fuck are you looking at? I hear you've been asking okay. questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck? fuck do you want? I don't give half a dick what After you this, heard. Now get the get fuck out of my face. I'm going to find an area where I can stop and then I'll continue on later before i burn your sorry ass and okay yeah i'm gonna end this one here control alt shift h because that's apparently how you get this open yeah 44 minutes the next one's not gonna be that long at all but uh i hope you enjoyed it honestly i find this very funny and i'm gonna record the next part like literally right now so this should be that's actually i think that's like three or four three videos this month that's gonna be great for me, for for you guys, not for me, because that means I have to freaking separate them out e evenly. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.